Hello there, this is John with Nashville Travel Concierge and we're heading for Cheekwood. This is video number 38. The last time we were here was when I filmed video number 7. This is the second week in a row I've had to deal with rain. Fortunately last week I had an alternative site for my filming but uh, this week I don't. I have tickets for the event today and I have no choice. We are here for Sean Kenny's Nature Pop exhibit. Mr. Kenny is a master at the uh, art of Legos. One thing I've learned over the last year, if Chief would present something, it's going to be good. Now it's time to see what Nature Pop is all about. We're gonna start with the rabbits. These are the smallest pieces in the exhibit today. Everything you see here is made with Legos. In the comments section, why don't you put down whether you were a Lego person as a kid? Or if you still are, there's a lot of people that uh, still do this. The uh, displays in this exhibit. This is actually the largest as far as the number of animals or rabbits that are represented. If you live in the Nashville area and have not yet been to Cheekwood, I suggest you try it out. They usually have multiple exhibits going on at one time. This is just one that they're having right now. And uh, it's a great place to come with your family. When the weather is nice, this is a perfect place to come and have a picnic, to walk around. There's a lot of room for kids to run and uh, it's beautiful here. <music> The next piece we see is a pink dog. I find Mr. Kinney's interpretation, including the colors that he uses, uh, to be quite interesting. In this case, as it says on the info board of each uh, art piece, the use of these bright colors that pop out at you is part of being a pop artist. <music> And next we have a woodpecker. Take a look and see how bright and blue this uh, uh, piece is. And right now we are approaching a fox. Let's take a look at this buck and behind him is a doe and a fawn. The next piece we're going to look at is a snow leopard. And next we have a polar bear and her cubs. For those of you who create with Legos, I have an Amazon affiliate link below. If you click show more, it'll pop up. The link will take you to one of the many Lego kits that they have. And if you purchase any of the Lego kits, I do make something from Amazon. Note that this doesn't affect your cost at all. Coming up next, we have the Galapagos tortoise. 
How many times do you think I had to say that to get it right? And next we have a pangolin. And if I butcher the uh, pronunciation of that, I apologize. I'm clueless. It says that it's like an anteater with armor. Now this next one I do know. It is a zebra. And now we have the dodo bird. I never would have known. But while I was there, there was a group of elementary school kids coming up the sidewalk toward me. Several of them, that about four or five, started screaming, look, a dodo, a dodo. And I thought, how cool, they actually knew. And coming up next is a lion. I'd have to say that of all the places I've been to in Nashville, the Cheekwood is my favorite. Coming up next is the largest dragonfly you'll ever see. It's pretty cool. The next piece is the only one in the exhibit that represents a uh, thing that was never alive. It is a lawnmower. And following this, we're going to have two gardeners. So if you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button because it does help. If you're interested in subscribing, there's a button for that as well. And I want to thank you for spending your time here. I hope to see you next weekend.